Th this is a good question uh, by Alice Rutherford. Um, on the topic of repairing damage, do you think that future therapies may be more risky for older people with more accumulated damage? Do you think there will be a cutoff age of sorts? Mm. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. There's, there's two parts to answering that question. Um, there probably will be a cutoff age, but that cutoff age will advance with time as we get better at doing this. And eventually, the cutoff age will be beyond what we currently consider to be legally dead, which is a large part of the reason why I am a strong and vocal proponent of cryonics research. Um, but um, yes, absolutely, there is going to be a greater difficulty in repairing someone who has, who is in a worse state. However, the wrinkle relative to that, uh, relative to how the question was asked, is it's not really because the people have more of the target damage types, the damage that accumulates throughout life. The reason why it's going to be more difficult for older people is because they've got the pathologies of late life, the actual consequences of that damage that accumulate in terms of functional decline. So it's more to reverse. The, well, it's more and more types of things to reverse. Not exactly, but kind of. It's really that the, um, the, the pathologies kind of acquire a life of their own. They become, they, they, they have their own positive feedback, so to speak, that mm. accelerates them and self-sustains them. So that even if we were to remove the um, underlying damage whose accumulation um, eventually uh, drove the emergence of those pathologies, nevertheless, they might not be able to... Um, uh, resolve on their own. Now, in some cases, they're going to be able to resolve on their own, but we will have to see. Um, and in particular, what we can certainly say is that there are certain implementations of the damage repair that would not be um, compatible with the state of health of some of these people. So, for example, some of them might involve surgery, you know, replacing whole organs with artificial organs, and that's not something you can do to someone who's at death's door. Mm. So, yeah, those are the kinds of issues that come up. But if the questioner is asking whether it would really be different or more, more um, challenging to treat someone who is, let's say, 60 relative to someone who's 40, because you know they've got more damage, even though they don't yet have the pathologies, um, then I would say no, it won't be more difficult. Hmm. That's good to hear, actually.